Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, this is John. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the neighborhood of Sawtelle and Japantown. We're going to be shooting with the Lytel 16 and my Fujifilm X100V. And then I have a craving for some Japanese snacks. So we're going to go out there and do some shopping together. So stick around. It's going to be a beautiful video. Alright, so I'm currently headed over to the Japantown area in Sawtelle. It's also known as Little Osaka. And let's not get this confused with Little Tokyo, which is also in Los Angeles. This is kind of the smaller version of the Little Tokyo. And I'm definitely going to dedicate another episode to Little Tokyo itself. It definitely deserves one. Uh, but this is relatively closer to me and I've been to Sawtelle plenty of times. There are some amazing restaurants over there, beautiful cafes, some really cool stores over there as well. So we're gonna go explore, take some photos with, like I said, the Light L16 and the Fujifilm X100V. And then, like I said, once we go to the grocery store, Nijia Market, one of my favorite stores there of all time, we're gonna dive deeper into some Japanese snacks together. It's been a fairly interesting period so far that we went under in Los Angeles lately. Uh, we've had a downpour of rain that lasted for three to four days across Southern California, so LA definitely had their own fair share of downpour as well within that. Luckily in our neighborhood there wasn't much flooding, uh, but I know in certain neighborhoods, especially down south, it was pretty bad. Uh, but then on top of the rain, yesterday we've experienced a 4.7 magnitude earthquake, which happened I believe slightly above northern Malibu side. Um, it shook us up briefly, but overall, it's been okay. Um, but now, I'm currently headed over to Sawtelle, to the Japantown neighborhood. It's actually on the strip of Sawtelle Boulevard. So we're gonna go ahead and find a spot over there to park at, and then we're just gonna walk around and explore as much as possible, from restaurants, to grocery stores, to any type of souvenir or boutique that we can take a look at. And then of course, like I said, we're going to be shooting photos together there as well. While we're on the way to Japantown, if this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and throw a comment or two, as I really would love to connect with each and every one of you and get a better understanding of your expectations as you come into this channel. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get back to the video now. Japantown and Sawtelle, Los Angeles boasts a rich history that unfolds like chapters in a captivating story. Established in the early 20th century, it became a cultural nucleus for the Japanese American community, reflecting their traditions and customs. Over the years, the neighborhood has evolved, surviving challenges and welcoming diverse influences. Despite the forced relocation of Japanese Americans during World War II, Japantown Sawtelle persisted, and today it stands as a testament to resilience and cultural preservation. The streets are now adorned with vibrant blend of historical landmarks and modern establishments, creating a unique atmosphere that bridges the past and the present. Folks, I just stopped by at Noble Tea to grab myself some boba tea, classic milk tea. Um, so we're gonna currently enjoy this, and then after that, we're gonna stop by Nijia Market to grab those amazing Japanese snacks that I've been craving. With the delightful taste of boba tea still lingering on my palate after a visit to Noble Tea in Sawtelle's Japantown, our journey continues to another gem in this culinary paradise, Nijia Market. Nijia Market has been a cornerstone of Japantown, offering an authentic taste of Japan. As we step into this vibrant market, we'll be exploring aisles brimming with unique Japanese snacks, fresh produce, and a curated selection of culinary treasures. From savory treats to sweet delights, the shelves are stocked with an array of snacks that reflect the culinary diversity of the Japanese culture.
Well, folks, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me in exploring the Japantown area in Saw Tao. I hope you've enjoyed it. If this is your first time visiting my channel, like I said, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and throw a comment or two. If you have any questions about the snacks that I bought, or if you would like me to review them on a dedicated video perhaps, let me know. I would love to do that. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.